and, they were, and they didn't understand that they were placid and lovely creatures. The only way I could describe it to people back home, right, was, was basically the, the equivalent in England would be walking through a forest and being killed by a falling owl. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're doing... <laughs> I'm not quite sure how an owl falls from its perch. <laughs> Clearly some local kids have greased up a branch. Because <laughs> they're quite grippy creatures, owls, you know. Probably see the branch there and just go, oh yeah, yeah that'll do, lovely. Think, I'll have that branch there, that'll be... Oh, shit! <laughs> I seem to have survived that fall there. <laughs> Drop another one. I've developed, I've developed an owl immunity. <laughs> they don't seem to be falling onto the floor either. They seem to be catching them on my head and stacking them up. <laughs> I'll do that again, but this time, listen out for the secondary noise of the owl as he hits the floor. Oh, yeah, never let it be said that my mimes are anything less than complete. <laughs> see that? I even checked to see if the owl was ready. Did you see that? <laughs> I did a cheeky walk forward as he loaded up in the special owl dropping contraption. Yes. Thanks. Feel the tension in here. Can you feel? People going bloody hell, Ross. Don't even attempt it. I don't know if you can pull it off. Trust me, I'm a fully trained owl professional. Please. This is a very, very difficult stunt to pull off. It's all your fault. <laughs> what were you saying, duck as in like that? Or did you want me to change the bird? <laughs> were you going, I'd prefer to see a duck fall. <laughs> I can if you want. I'm, I'm versatile. <laughs> One second. Excuse me, yes. Take the owl out of the device <laughs> and place a duck in. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean it's unorthodox? I know it is. <laughs> What do you mean you haven't got the right attachment to fit a duck? <laughs> Can you not just improvise? Or drop it by hand? <laughs> Who are you exactly I'm talking to? <laughs> and why are you hanging around above the stage with a selection of different birds? What, you just... You just happened to have a duck there, did you? Yes. What? It's flightless. You're right, yes. Try and drop it so its bill is facing up so it doesn't get jammed... <laughs> ..in my head. Yes. OK. But why? Cos some dickhead shouted it out. I mean, <laughs> what can I do? Can't just ignore the fact that he shouted duck, can I? All right, we'll load it up. Thanks. I'm not quite sure why I said that in a slightly camp voice, but... <laughs> what? No, I don't want volivons. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like, possibly? <laughs> Seeing as we're changing the bird that's fallen on my head, why don't we open it up? Is there any other...? Emu. What? An emu! <laughs> oh, good work. As I approach the, uh, the, the duck dropping zone, uh, an emu will run towards me and I'll be forced to... <laughs> good thinking there. <laughs> what? Ask Peter for the duck. Look. I don't want Peter anywhere near this scenario. Cos all I know is it'll end up with me getting whacked in the face with something... <laughs> ..that, quite frankly, I don't want anywhere near my face. 
As much as I, invo as much as I enjoy a volivon, I draw the line there. <laughs> that's the greatest, that's got to be the greatest euphemism for being gay you could ever. As much as I enjoy a volivon, <laughs> I uh, My favourite euphemism for being gay is uh, uh, he enjoys rollerblading. <laughs> because rollerblading is the gayest thing you can do, right? <laughs> you can have sex with a man and that is less gay than rollerblading, right? <laughs> Where else can you combine action and gayness in one perfect union? The only way to get more action and gayness into one short activity is to fire Elton John out of a cannon. <laughs> so, we're dropping a duck. I'm going to dodge an emu. The owl's going to hit me on the head. Anything else you'd like? Do it while I'm rollerblading. <laughs> Whatever turns you on, my friend. <laughs> All right, then, I shall do it whilst rollerblading. Yeah, anything else? With a burka on. With a burka on! <laughs> Ooh, it'll have to be a short one so it doesn't get caught in the rollerblade. <laughs> yep, no problem, right? I'll have a burka on, there we go. The, uh, can I have the steam-powered version? <laughs> in fact, what I'll do is I'll put the steam jets that way and then that will propel me forward. <laughs> Good thinking. Anything else? On fire, <laughs> and what on a what? A bike helmet. So I'm wearing a burka and a bike helmet, and I'm on and a what? Top hat. And a top hat. <laughs> right. So let me get this straight. I'm on. Ro Just wait a second. I'm on rollerblades, wearing a burka, with a motorcycle helmet on, with a top hat, on fire. <laughs> okay. And take the what? Take the plug. Oh, take the mug. No. It's a stupid idea. I I what? Naked. How can I be naked and wearing a burqa? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll wear the top half of a burger and I'll be naked from the waist down. <laughs> right. Being what? Being chased by... Being chased by... No. <laughs> Let's leave Peter out of this. <laughs> He's going, thank you. It's a shame he didn't say that at the start of the night. I tell you what I'll do as well, right? When I get to the... Instead of just allowing the owl to hit me on the head, and I'll do a few owl tricks to make it more of a spectacular. I know it's a duck! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Right then, when the duck falls... <laughs> you fucking pedantic <laughs> bastard. Yeah, I'll do owl tricks with a duck. <laughs> yes. When I get to here, I'll do a few duck tricks. As he hits me on the head, right, I'll have him bounce off my shoulder, and then off my elbow, and then I'll Steven Seagal him <laughs> backwards, then I'll kick him over my head, which isn't easy on rollerblades, <laughs> over the top, right? And then I'll play keepsy upsy with him, like that, right? And then, wait, <laughs> I'm gonna kick him out there, right? You, my friend, Randy Pan's guardian. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him to you, right? I want you to stand up, head button back, and then I'll catch him between the knees. <laughs> OK? Yeah? Do it blind. Do it what? Blind. Do it blind. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you what, I'll do it technically blind. <laughs> right. Can you do that for me? Yeah? And you better stand up as well, cos if you don't, the duck will fly over <laughs> and it'll get somebody in the eye. <laughs> and I'm not covered for public duck liability. <laughs> Do, doing what? Doing a sting. <laughs> oh, swinging a stingray. All right then, I'll swing a stingray. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sing rawhide at the end. <laughs> right, let's pretend a stingray is in a nice tank there. 
ready to be swung. <laughs> okay. Where's your guide dog? I can't find him. <laughs> I'm technically blind. <laughs> He's run off with the wolf. <laughs> right. Now, when I start this, you can do a bit of a drum roll on your lap, right? Okay. Excuse me one sec. Oh, not yet! <laughs> Gotta get me skates on first, haven't I? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, but I take my pants off. <laughs> Thank you. This is good. I can't help thinking that male strippers in the area have got it easy if they only have to mime taking their gun. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of women going, oh, that Marcel Morceau, he's a hot bastard. <laughs> Sorry, that was... That was the sweat. <laughs> bucketing out there. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I like to be comfortable under my... <laughs> Is he wearing ladies' stockings? <laughs> right then, hang on, so what do I want now? Right, you know, put me burka on. <laughs> Touch me steam jets. A little furnace here. Tiny bit of coal. Ready to create the steam. Uh, crash helmet. Blindfold. <laughs> oh, it's quite hard. It slipped off the top there. It's very shiny, that helmet. Right. Uh, skates. <clears throat> See where I'm going now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give us a chance. <laughs> Just put my skates on, you bastard. I can't find it. I've got my blindfold on, haven't I? <laughs> Please, Lord, deliver me a top hat. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. <laughs> right, here we go. Skates. You ready? Get the stingray ready. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, the seats are rolling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me. Take care of yourself. See you again.